Equally, we have to divide the solution. Okay, we have divided equally into two equal half there, and after that, we have to add a, a drop of iodine solution for A and a B test tubes. Now here I am going to label these two test tubes as a this is A and this is a B. Okay. And now I am taking iodine solution. Now with the help of dropper I am collecting iodine solution and I am adding one or two drops in a A and one or two drops in a B also. Uh, this is the A solution and this is the 
distribution okay and uh, you are able to see the blue black color in both a and b now here for a uh, a test tube i am going to add a saliva okay this is freshly collected saliva and now i am going to add a saliva for this uh, solution in a beaker for in test tube a i have added a, a saliva here now here i am having a test tube and a b test tube and here a test tube it contains chloride solution along with the saliva and this is the b test tube only contains a chloride solution okay and now we are going to leave this uh, arrangement without disturbing it uh, nearly 45 to 45 minutes to 1 hour what is going to be takes place we will see okay okay and this is a test tube a and this is test tube b and just you observe here uh, test tube a it loses its blue black color but here where as in a test tube b we may observe this uh, what blue black color okay why the blue black color it is a uh, vanished in this test tube a because here we have added a saliva okay that saliva it is going to acts on the starch which is a uh, present in this uh, test tube as a result here that the saliva it contains a one enzyme called a salivary amylase it is also called as a tylen that salivary amylase or tylen it is going to act on the flour which is present in this uh, test tube and it converts the flour or starch into simple sugars like a uh, maltose and a uh, dextrose as a result here there is no starch or flour in this uh, test tube as a result the blue black color it is a uh, vanished and once again we are going to test here we are going to add a iodine solution for these two test tubes a and b and if uh, it is going to convert into blue black color there the presence of starch is going to be indicated if uh, no blue black color there is no starch in test tubes now we will see once again and here i am taking iodine here again i am adding in a test tube a and uh, again i am adding in a test tube b okay now we will see see in a test tube b sorry this is test tube a there is no blue black color because there is no starch that saliva which contains enzymes what salivary amylase it converted the complete flour into simple sugars as a result we are unable to observe the blue black color here okay and now in a test tube b we have not added the saliva because the salivary amylase or tylen is going to be absent in this test tube as a result here we may observe the blue black color here because it contains the starch solution or flour solution here okay and by this experiment we are going to say that when we are going to add the saliva for starch or a flour solution automatically that flour or starch will be decomposed or digested or degraded into simple sugars like maltose and dextrose as a result when we do the iodine test it is not going to be converted into blue black color due to the absence of a starch or flour in this test tube okay thank you